74% of the people in this country complain in a survey that they're living with GI discomfort. Now, let me break that down with amino acids. <clears throat> I want you to take this basketball and picture this basketball as being a protein molecule, okay? Protein is made up of amino acids. Think of this circular marble as one of the amino acids that would be involved in this. There's over 500 amino acids that they know of, but 22 main ones that uh, they talk about for human health, although there's many others. Uh, so this protein molecule, you ingest protein through your stomach, goes down into your stomach, needs digestive enzymes, and hydrochloric acid and other components in your digestive system to take that protein and break it down and convert it into amino acids which go into the bloodstream and work in the body. Amino acids are involved in every single component of your health. Your hormones, your DNA, your immune system, every chemical, every cell process requires amino acids to live, thrive, and function. Any breakdown in any one amino acid, even one amino acid in your body, will set up a process of disease. Glutathione is a master antioxidant that controls all the other antioxidants in your body. There's three amino acids that make up glutathione. So this is how important it is. So what's the relationship? Why am I using this analogy? Okay, so this protein molecule has to go through your stomach and be broken down. If 74% of the American people say they have digestive discomfort or GI discomfort or GI problems, that means that you aren't breaking your protein down effectively. That's even assuming that the quality of the protein you're getting is a good quality protein, uh, which most people aren't getting. So you add on uh, all the processed packaged foods people are eating, the bad sources of protein, your conventional meat products, uh, your conventional dairy products, and a lot of other refined, processed, unhealthy, fried foods, whatever you want to call it. That means that you can run the same survey and probably find out that 74% of the American people, or might even be higher than that, are struggling with getting sufficient amino acids into their bloodstream. And I want you to get this and really understand it. Without amino acids, nothing works. Amino acids and minerals at the cell level are required for every single component of your health. Yes, antioxidants are great. What I just mentioned, glutathione is a master antioxidant that's controlled by three amino acids. No other antioxidants are going to be as effective without the glutathione working properly. So you need amino acids for that. All of your cells, your muscle, all your tissue, your glands, everything requires amino acids, requires minerals. And this is huge, people. Somebody's going to really wrap their mind around this story, and it's going to really go off to the American people, and they're going to wonder why there's a health crisis in, the, in this country. It's because the digestive system is broken down. Um, listen, there's look at all the digestive problems there are. There's irritable bowel, irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, diverticulitis, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, indigestion, GERD, acid reflux, celiac disease, diarrhea, gas, bloating, abdominal pain. I could go on. There's probably another 30 different listings of various digestive problems that people struggle with. And here's another thing. Your body needs good bacteria in the digestive system. That's also involved in getting amino acids into your bloodstream. Except they forget to tell you that every time you take an antibiotic, you kill good bacteria in your body. And unless you're replenishing it, with fermented foods and good probiotic supplements and a good healthy diet, then you have bacterial problems. Your flora is not functioning properly. So add up enzymes because we're eating enzyme deficient foods. So you're born with a certain amount of enzymes in your body. Consider it like a bank account. But the more processed foods you eat, the more refined foods you eat, the quicker you deplete your enzyme reserves. Then all the antibiotics that people take, those are causing major problems. So you could see it's a domino effect. And I could spend hours giving a whole lecture on this subject. I'm trying to be very quick here in this video, so, so hopefully the layman will at least get where I'm going with it. You can learn a lot more from our website. 
So I thought to myself, what's another reason why so many people are having digestive problems? And so I went on the internet and I searched and, I, and would you know, this is actually from our own U.S. government's website, the National Institutes of Health, okay? It says, glyphosate, pathways to modern diseases, two, celiac sprue and gluten intolerance. Gluten intolerance and celiac disease have gone off the charts as far as um, their, their increases since the 1950s. And people are trying to say, well, why is, why is this uh, becoming such an epidemic today? They're blaming the wheat, they're blaming a lot of things. But there's one thing that this report actually blames and outlines, and that is glyphosate. And in case you don't know what glyphosate is, glyphosate is the ingredient used in Roundup, which is a pesticide that is sprayed on crops all over this country and around the world. And it's also what they used when they, when they uh, not when they genetically engineered it, but Glyphosate is an approved herbicide to use with the genetically engineered crops. They, they engineered the crops to be glyphosate uh, tolerant. So then now they can take glyphosate and spray it on these plants and it won't kill the plants. It'll just kill the weeds around the plants. So we see that genetic engineering and pesticide use is also linked to a number of these digestive disorders. So get this, wrong protein, wrong digestion, pesticides on the foods, GMOs, and everything else. And then we have 74%, according to this Fox News survey of Americans living with GI discomfort, which is a red flag that says, my body has a system that's gonna be set up to get disease. That's the reality, okay? In this report, it says, celiac disease and gluten intolerance is a growing problem worldwide, but especially in North America, where an estimated 5% of the population now suffers from it, including nausea, diarrhea, skin rashes, uh, anemia, and depression. Uh, here we propose that glyphosate, the active ingredient in the herbicide Roundup, is the most important causal factor in this epidemic. Roundup. Fish exposed to glyphosate develop digestive problems that are reminiscent of celiac disease. Celiac disease is associated with imbalances in gut bacteria that can be fully explained by the known effects of glyphosate on gut bacteria. Um, there is a lot here. I'm going to have this actual posted, this story posted and linked to our website. Um, but it outlines that, that glyphosate is having a negative effect on a number of different areas of the digestive system. Here it says glyphosate is the active ingredient in the herbicide Roundup. It is a broad-spectrum herbicide considered to be nearly non-toxic to humans. However, a recent paper by Samsel and Seneff, 2013, argued that glyphosate may be a contributor to the obesity epidemic and the autism epidemic in the United States, as well as to several other diseases and conditions such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, infertility, depression, and cancer. Uh, glyphosate suppresses the synthesis of aromatic amino acids, tryptophan, tri triosine, phenylalanine, uh, and also involved, is involved in disrupting bacteria, healthy, good digestive bacteria. So they've proven it. This report states it and outlines it. It's affecting our gut bacteria. It's affecting the amino acids. It's affecting your body's ability to chelate and get minerals into the bloodstream. So... I could say amino acids and mineral deficiency uh, are your two big pillars that hold up the whole frame of the human body, and these are your two pillars that are being chopped down or severely hindered and weakened, and this is why there is a massive disease epidemic. So this is why I want to talk about amazing aminos and why is this product so amazing. Um, Amazing aminos comes from Norwegian salmon. It's a process that was developed by the Russians in the 60s. They wanted a product for their cosmonauts to go into space so they can survive. And they came up with an amino acid product from salmon. And this is what this product consists of. When the Soviet Union uh, fell, the wall came down. These scientists were allowed to emigrate into other countries. And they took this technology to industry. And that's how this company in Norway that we get this bulk blend from was able to produce this product. It's a patented process. 
It's called hydrolysis. They don't give you all the details of how they do it, but specifically they could take the, the salmon through their own enzymatic process with water and break that protein down, go back to the basketball and marble analogy. They could take that basketball down so that you're not left with a protein molecule, you're left with all the amino acids. In this case, 26 amino acids from a whole food supplement derived from fish that is pre-digested. This is the key and this is why this is so important when I tie this all into digestive disorders. Pre-digested means your body doesn't have to break it down. You don't need the enzymes, you don't need the bacteria, you don't need all these other things that most people have going wrong in their digestive system to get these amino acids into your bloodstream to make it work. So simply take a cap, take capsules as soon as you ingest them with water within within 20 minutes or so, these capsules are going to be broken down and they've already proven through tests because they've done blood draws before and after that within 20 minutes these amino acids are showing up in the bloodstream. There isn't a product out there in the market that's like it. There isn't an amino acid out there in the world that can even compare to this. This is another big thing. <clears throat> There's aminos in all the health food stores. They're in all the vitamin stores. You can go on the internet. There's amino acids everywhere. But most people don't understand that most of the amino acids that are being sold today are either coming from a genetically engineered process or they're coming from corn or sugar or bacterial fermentation. It's not the same as what you would get from something like this. Does it mean all those amino products aren't going to work? No, but it would be, we call it the Ferrari of amino acid supplementation. Just imagine um, comparing a Ferrari to, you know, a Yugo. I, I hate to be you know, silly here, but this is the reality. Um, these aminos are the best that you will find anywhere. Amino acids are involved in sleep. They're involved in the neurotransmitters that make up brain and all the healthy production of the chemicals that run your brain, um, your blood sugar, your heart, your digestive system. They've proven that these aminos will help restore and repair digestive problems. So when I say 74% of the people that did a survey on Fox say they have GI disorders, well, guess what? You need amino acids, but the right ones. Don't run out and buy the cheap ones that aren't going to do anything that, that uh, aren't coming from the right form. This is a whole food, live amino acid supplement, pre-digested, that's designed to get into the bloodstream rapidly. And this will make a profound difference in your health. Um, and if you really get into this report further that I'm talking about from the USNIH that you can download, the other thing that they talk about is how Roundup interferes with minerals. I just can't seem to find the right page. Here, glyphosate patented as an antimicrobial, Monsanto technology has been shown to disrupt gut bacteria in animals preferentially killing beneficial forms and causing an overgrowth of pathogens. Two other properties of glyphosate also negatively impact human health. Chelation of minerals such as iron and cobalt and interference with cytochrome P450 enzymes, which play many important roles in the body. So they get into a lot of that. And they talk even more about minerals in there. The fact is, the minerals aren't there. Look at the construction of the human body. It requires minerals, amino acids, water, oxygen, essential fatty acids. Then you can get into your other important elements as well, your vitamins and, and your phytonutrients and all that. But amino acids and minerals are the two most important elements. You